Good morning, everyone. It's the start of a new week. And I told you I'd leave you hanging, but I did start this last night. I got, I think I read five chapters. Yeah. Oh no, I read six chapters last night. One thing I was really happy about was that at the end of Fortuna Sworn, like I was worried that it was gonna end with that cliffhanger. And then sometimes series will kind of like bounce a little bit ahead into the future in the next book that I, and I don't really enjoy that. I was so happy that this just hopped directly back into the story. So I was very, very happy about that. So far, nothing crazy has happened yet. Uh, we get to like address what happened at the end of the book, of the first book. So that was good. I'm gonna read for a little bit before work and then maybe read some tonight and we'll see what I'm feeling tomorrow. Happy Monday. So I just got back from work and took a shower and now I'm eating an apple, <laughs> but I wanted to come on here and say that I read about 70 pages last night. I haven't gotten, I've only gotten to read like an hour Sunday night and then an hour last night. I think the last clip you saw was a little nightly montage and that was right before I read last night. I am on chapter 12, page 140. It's really hard to put this book down. Like, I don't want to stop reading. It's so good. It's crazy because, like, the first book only took place over the course of, like, two weeks. And so, like, it just picked up from that. So, like, it's been a short amount of time, but so much has happened. I'm just, I don't know, kind of crazy. But I'm going to try to read more tonight. I'm going to try to get a good chunk done tonight. I'm going to play Animal Crossing right now just to give myself a little break because I'm kind of tired and I just got off work, so. But I'm also waiting on... A package to arrive today. It's my book of the month box for January and so it should be here today sometime it just isn't delivered and I am going to film that video tomorrow that will go up Saturday. It says it's out for delivery so that means it should be here. On that note that is my update. I'm very excited. I do have tomorrow and the next day off so I'll probably finish this book by then. The digital copy of the third book is out, but I don't want the digital copy. I like hard copies for like my favorite series and I want the hard copy of Deadly Dreams. And also once I finish that book, I am going to be devastated because then I have to wait like an entire year or just later sometime this year, hopefully, for the next book. So I hate when I'm caught up. <sighs> okay. Okay, hey, so I just found out the wackiest thing ever. So apparently online, let me bring it up because I want to show you because I am baffled by it. There apparently is a site called b dash like book basically, but there's a dash dot org. And it is like this electronic library where you can download any book you want. What you do is search for your book. So for me, I really wanted From Blood and Ash because that's one of my books for January that I want to read and I do not own it and it's not available at my library unfortunately. So what you do is you click on it and then you download it or you can send it to your email which is whatever. Um, also if you make a donation to your to like have like a premium account uh, you can send it to your Kindle. I have not done that. Probably will in the future because I want to support libraries and I think this is fantastic because it's just like a large overdrive app, which is awesome. Anyway, you can download it. Um, I got out of it, but I do have it downloaded. <clears throat> and it's right here, but I turned it into a PDF because, okay, well, I didn't know, but because I tried to send it to my Kindle from here. Um, but otherwise you can just drag it into your books and it'll be there, which is so stinking cool. We're walking to the mailbox. It's very quiet. I don't want to talk loud. All right. 
We are here. Gotta find my key. Oh, okay. This is one piece. Okay, sorry, I had to cut that off. I was so confused. I was like, I got really excited because I thought my Book of the Month box was gonna have a lot more in it because it was a big box, but it turns out it was for my husband. Box was, and his box was the big one, and mine was the little one. So we got it. I'm so excited to film that tomorrow. I haven't even opened my December one yet because I'm just waiting to open it tomorrow. I kind of want to not have opened the boxes at all and just open them fresh on the camera tomorrow because I don't know. I like those kind of videos. I don't know if other people do, but I do. So that's my plan for tomorrow. I'm super excited. Good morning. Open these shades because I just want that morning sunlight. Mm. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday. I'm very excited for today because I'm filming my book of the month video. And I'm super excited because I haven't opened either one of the boxes. So I have absolutely no idea what's going to be inside. I am going to just, I know the books that I ordered. So I at least will be prepared to share a little bit about them. Obviously, I haven't read them. So I'm very excited about that. Also, I just like really wanted to enjoy a quiet, peaceful morning and read my book a little bit. It's just a little after eight right now. And my goal this morning was to wake up at seven. I'm normally not out of bed until 8.30 or so or later out of bed. I'm usually awake by like eight, but I just really wanted to wake up early this morning. I wanted to wake up at seven and so I set my alarm but I ended up not getting out of bed until like 7.45. <sighs> it's okay, I still got up and I feel really good. I don't feel tired. And I think it's because I've cut out gluten and dairy. I just am not as groggy anymore. Also, I've been taking a melatonin gummy every night and so I'm sleeping pretty decent. It's easy to get up, which is super nice. I read 90 pages yesterday. And so I'm about, I'm a little over halfway in this book. Oh my goodness. It started to lag a little bit, so I can kind of update you. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's gonna not make sense if you haven't read the first book. So Fortuna and the werewolf that she saved at the end of the first book, uh, she takes it to try to find its pack, which Lori helps her find the location of the pack. So it's Lori, Colith, Damon, because Damon for some reason wants to go to Denver, so that's why they're on their way that way. Lori call with Damon, Leary, Lyari. I don't know how to say her guard's name. Leary, Leary. I think it's Leary. L y a r i. And I feel like there's one more person, but I think I might be wrong. Yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, they're all like packed in the car driving, and it's just hilarious. And also. There's a moment with Colith and Fortuna in a motel room, and I'm just like, uh, yeah, so they're on their way to Denver. Actually, they just arrived in Denver pretty much, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. The werewolf incident, like with the pack, that's very interesting. I'm very interested in learning more about the werewolves in this book, but really not a whole lot has happened, so we will just keep on trucking through this and I'm super excited. She is making a lot of enemies is all I'm gonna say, but kind of for good reason. I, I, I see her point of view and it is a fine. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna read and drink my tea this morning because it's English breakfast and I love a good English breakfast. I also really love Irish breakfast, but I want to get my tea bag tags off of these teas. I'm trying to go through them pretty fast because I'm gonna make a coaster with all the tea bag tags and I'm super excited about it. Okay, on that note, 
I'll see you later. Okay, so I'm gonna try to finish this book tonight. I'm on page 291 and there is 437 pages and it's a, like quarter till five. So I have time to finish it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna finish it. I don't wanna finish it though, because I'm, I don't have the next book. It's getting real good though. It's getting really like, not confusing, but there's a lot of new elements added that are getting like interesting and exciting to unveil and kind of learn a little bit more about it. It's getting so good. I'll let you know probably in the morning if I did. Look at my face after just reading what I just read. It's been a page since I told you I was going to read. Oh my goodness. This just got even more interesting. I love how good I look after I'm done crying for an entire end of a book. My eyes are like swollen. So it's 10.30 just about and I just finished this book. I don't like how this book ended. It's very much giving me Vampire Academy-ish vibes now. I wish I could tell you what happens, but I can't do that because it'll give so much away. I am understanding now what the author had DM'd me about liking a specific character in the third book of this series. I'm not beginning, I think I'm going to understand it a little bit. I don't know. I read 214 pages today. I'm just, I'm like not okay. On that note, I'm gonna go to bed. I need the third book now, except I don't wanna read it because the majority of this book, I enjoyed so much and like super loved it until I got to like the last 70 pages. I need to go to bed <laughs> or I'm gonna start crying again. Good morning. I cried so much last night that when I woke up this morning, my eyes were so stinking puffy. So I'm going to do a little like under eye mask because I, I need to depuff these eyes. Oh man, you guys, the end of that book was so intense. I don't even know, like, I slept so poorly last night. Sometimes it happens, like, I won't sleep well if I spend too much time, like, oftentimes it's if I, like, binge watch a show and I, I just don't sleep well because I watched way too much TV and just took too much of that in to my brain. So sometimes I don't sleep well. I read 214 pages of that book yesterday, which is a lot for that book because there's just so much that happens in this book, but there's really not, it, it almost just all happens at the very end in like the last 70 pages. And I could not like, oh my goodness, something happened that just like ripped out my heart and tore it into pieces and I don't know how I'm gonna recover from it and I don't know how the next book is gonna go and also like I can't get the next book yet. I can. I could get it from a Kindle but I don't want to do that because I want the physical copy of this book series because I'm obsessed with it. So you can see my straw. So much happened at the end of that book like ah I'm really nervous for how the next book is going to go. So I think last night I said it reminded me of The Vampire Academy. And if you've read The Vampire Academy, you might kind of understand what I'm saying. Like if you think of like the third book and on, what happens and what the main character was doing and trying to do, it kind of makes sense with what is going on in my book. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. I can't tell you because it'll give away the ending and that's so important. Uh, I cried so much. I literally could not stop crying. And the last chapter was heartbreaking. I am gonna put this out here right now while I'm thinking about it. There is a trigger warning at the very beginning of this book. And it just says, please be aware that this book contains scenes of violence and sexual assault. So just like be aware of that. Uh, I don't even know if I really wanna read today. <laughs> because that book just tore me apart. 
I probably will read a little bit later today. I'm going to start the Shadow Cadets of the Penny Royal Academy, which is the second book of the Penny Royal Academy book. And then I think today I'm going to spend most of my time working on my puzzle and probably just watching TV because I really haven't done that and I've kind of been wanting to do it. I, I read a lot yesterday, so I probably won't read as much today. My brain needs a break. My brain and my heart need a break. I'm going to drink my Dunkin', continue my self-care, and probably start my puzzle. Happy Wednesday. just popping on to say that I think I'm ready to open my heart up to a book again. <laughs> Restless Slumber really like tore me apart. So I'm going to shower and then there's a chance I'm going to play Breath of the Wild because that's what I've been doing the last two days, which is why I haven't read along with the fact that I'm still torn up about freaking Restless Slumber. But tonight I'm going to start the Shadow Cadets of the Penny Royal Academy, and I am saying that now to you because I have to hold myself accountable. And then I will check in tomorrow and let you know how much I read and what my thoughts are. So I'm actually really excited for this book. So with that being said, I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Saturday. I'm getting ready to close out this vlog, but I wanted to say I didn't read yesterday. I played a lot of Zelda, but I did read a good chunk today, and I really like how, the, okay, so, like, with Restless Slumber, the book hopped right back into the story, like, right where the first book ended, which is perfect for that series, because that is a series that you just want to, like, read the second book directly after the first book, so it was perfect. So because it's a school year, it like ended with her going back home. So this book started with a recap kind of, not a recap, but it like threw little tidbits of recaps uh, within the first couple of chapters, which was really nice. So you were reintroduced to characters, kind of given a quick little recap on what happened at the end of the book, which is great and takes place like over the summer while she's not back in school so it's summertime she's with her family and then goes and visits some of her friends from the academy and then just goes back to school so that's where i'm at and i'm really enjoying it i love how easy these books are to read and how innocent they are so i will keep reading next week and hopefully finish it in a couple of days and with that note hope you guys have a great week i'll see you in the next video bye